Okay, welcome back to Jam and in their Repair. Um, today we're going to take the exhaust off and see what it looks like on the cylinder. Uh, these tend to wear on the exhaust side more than the intake side. Um, also, I hit the engine with some uh, gunk degreaser and this thing was just packed with uh, grease and oil and dirt and grass and rocks and stones. It was just too dirty to work on. So I cleaned it off, didn't think you'd mind, and then I'm draining the transmission plug right here. I already drained it, so it's empty. I'll tighten that back down, and the chunks in this tray are from before I poured the oil. Okay, but that liquid wise, quality wise, is about a whole quart. And I don't think that's supposed to take a whole quart. What you're supposed to do, or what we're going to do next, is we're going to take this screw out, pour some oil into it, until the oil comes out of that screw. So that's what the directions say to do, so that's what we're going to do, and uh, maybe it's a quart, maybe not, I don't think so. What I'm hoping was that somebody didn't know, and they just dumped a quart of uh, oil in there and said, yeah, we're good to go. But uh, the crankshaft seal is above the level of the um, transmission fill line okay this is the fill line this is the crank right here so um i'm hoping it might be a seal between the transmission and the um combustion the uh crankcase so i'm hoping that lowering the level of the oil will stop extra oil from going into the system and causing me all sorts of smoke. So we're going to investigate and maybe we'll get lucky. Hold on a second. All right, first things first, tighten up the uh, drain plug. work. So I have so my impact socket, half length extension, bit holder, Phillips bit. Yeah. Going in at an angle. Nope. <clears throat> yep. Not good. So, I have to take, <laughs> I have to take the uh, foot pegs off to get that screw out. All right, let's try this again.
Huh. Not too bad. All right. So I got the screw up. All right, so I bought some of this Valvoline 20W50 uh, motor oil for motorcycles. Um, the book calls for 20W40, so I figure it's a little bike I'll go with the 20W50 because they don't make 20W40. I told you, shut up. <laughs> They don't make 20W40 oil. So, I think that was at least half a quart. And I'm waiting for it to drain out the hole here. You'll see it run down uh, into the pan. The oil that came out of the transmission was really clean. Even it looks black in a black pan, but it was actually pretty clean uh, oil. it does take that much. Oh. There it comes. Can you see it dripping here? Alright. I'll let that drain out. Let's see, it says here About 10 ounces left. We'll let that drizzle out for a while. We'll be at the perfect amount of oil. Alright, so let's uh, put it back together. That was my problem. Bummer. Let's take this apart. I think there's a special tool somewhere on this earth to do this. This has always worked well. support bracket off and put it on the good bike. This thing will clean up real nice. So, alright. Here's what we've got. Look down here. Got this rubber I keep calling it a gasket adapter on here and uh, then take that off remove this pipe. This pipe is also going on the other bike. 
and then we're going to take and dig out that baffle in there right here I got a new baffle coming but I'm going to clean out this pipe and see, see what the heck's down in there and I think that's why we're smoking so much Let's go ahead and take this off right here. That's obviously the wrong screw. I might have the right screw for that one. Hmm. Pretty dirty. Uh, this tube is going on the other bike anyhow. So I'm going to shine this one up. If it shines up. And uh, swap them out. The one on the other bike was so rusted I had to paint it. So I'll take this one. Let's see if we can get this, this one off of here. It's not even tight. And that's what holds the guard on. That's how that assembly works. So, this, this part will stay on this bike, it's pretty dented up. So there's a baffle in here, try and get that out of there. Alright, so the baffle is usually screwed in right here. And you can see I'm gripping it inside there, and it should just pull out fairly easily. It does not want to pull out. So I'm going to clamp it in my vise like so. Let's see if I can give her a few taps. Try it this way. There we go. Jeez. That is just packed full of unburnt fuel. This thing's in pretty bad shape. Completely clogged here. Well, I'm going to start a campfire. I'm going to throw this in the campfire. Let it burn. Now I need to clean this thing out because it is just soaking wet inside here. And I have a feeling once that engine got hot enough, this pipe would get hot enough to burn some of that fuel that's in here, it would just blow out white smoke. So, how do I clean this out? The directions don't tell you. They do tell you if you soak it in gas and light it on fire, you'll ruin the chrome. So I'm not sure how I want to do this. What I'm thinking about doing is taping off an end to seal it up. And then pouring some uh, 
cleaner in here. I have, I have about, uh, this is my bad gas can. And, uh, you know, it's got water and oil and nasties in it. So I think I'm going to use it for a solvent to clean this up. See what happens. So, I'm going to do a couple of layers of that. Now, granted, this is gasoline. I may only have a minute. Alright, let's do this outside. Got the end. All right. All right. <clears throat> the tape just let go. All right. But just flushing it out with the old gasoline has made a huge difference inside this uh, tailpipe. So I am going to Alright, let's take care of the fuel. <laughs> I don't know about this talk. All that white smoke coming out of that thing. That's why. I was hoping I'd get like a jet action coming out of the end of the tube. So this fire's only been running for like five, ten minutes. And uh, so it's not really a hot, hot fire. Uh, I don't think I'd do this on a fire that has hot charcoals. But you see it's turning brown now. Alright, I'm calling it cooked. I am going to just let it sit somewhere. I don't know. Watch out, bummy dog. Hot stuff coming through. Oh, your mom was in Las Vegas, spending all dad's money. <laughs> Alright, go put it over here on the rocks. Alright, let that cool off. Alright, so what I have here is a uh, bore scope. For uh, plumbing, I had a clog in one of my drains, and uh, I needed to go down the drain, see what was down there. So that's what you're seeing over here in the monitor. So let's go find out what's in here. Clearly, see the piston there. And it looks pretty scored up to me. So, that's probably what we expected. 
Well, let's do it. Oh, are you kidding me? You did just see that, didn't you? Took no pressure whatsoever. The book calls what you're about to see regular maintenance. This is what you missed. A broken head bolt. These break all the time anyhow. Gaskets, rings, and head bolts. Look at that. Alright, I'll show you. Jeez, that's because you can't see anything. All of this right here is a, a blow by from a bad head bolt. So that thing's been leaking for quite some time. Now let's pull the jug off. The jug. That's what this thing's called. The cylinder. Okay. Where'd you put my 10 millimeter wrench? Why you gotta play games with me? Alright, so you get four uh, nuts that come off the jug. But it's very important that you take these washers off uh, because then you lift up on the jug and the damn washers fall off and fall into the crankcase, making you have a very shitty day. You ready? Hmm. It's actually not too bad. Oh no, it's got a pretty good groove right there. I take that back. Huh. Okay, this is the exhaust side. It is not bad. I mean, there's a little bit of scoring, right? This is all clean. Right here. Right there. Let me try. Wipe it down. This is not showing up on the camera. You can kind of see it right there. But you know what? You can't feel it. 
your, your fingernail doesn't catch it. So deal with the broken bolt. I'm good there. New piston rings. Gasket. Head gasket. And bolts. Probably $30 worth of stuff. Alright, how lucky do I feel? There you go. All right. Makes life a little easier. Hopefully I just taught somebody something. You don't have to have a big fancy tool to get a broken screw out. The thing is, is, you know, once a head bolt like this is broken, there's no more tension on it. So, they usually come out. First time I did that, I was 13 years old and I did it to a uh, some part of the, the float bowl in a toilet tank. A bolt broke off and I had to sit there and chisel the old bolt out. My dad taught me that. So, alright, one down. Still have decisions to make. As for the uh, future of this bike. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and order rings, gaskets, and bolts. All right, so this bike here is the favored bike. It gets all the really good parts. This bike here uh, was all the leftovers uh, from the good bike. So now that I have a third bike, the one we've been working on, the good parts from that one first come over here to the first one and then to here. So. What we have here is a engine issue. This bolt here was stripped out and I retapped it with a larger bolt and that just bothers me. So I'm going to take this head and cylinder off of this bike because it's not it's not right. So I'm going to take it off this bike Put it on, put it on to this bike, and see if we can get it running. The, uh, I have new gaskets and everything coming, but uh, I don't care about that right now. I just want to stick that cylinder on this motorcycle and uh, see what happens. So. That's the plan. Should only take a few minutes.
So, this black area means that this head gasket was leaking right there. So, yep, right there it failed. Okay. So this engine has a few problems. One of the problems this engine has is that carburetor. It's all screwed up. So I bought another one of those carburetors I put on the other bike. We're going to try it on here. The other problem I have with this is all of a sudden the Kickstarter engagement gear isn't engaging properly. So it doesn't always catch the gear to start the engine up. So I gotta figure out what I did wrong on that. The clutch on this uh, bike slips like crazy. the gasket. Alright, so the plan is put this on the other bike. Should be okay. I have a new gasket, so I'm not worried about that. Let's uh, jam it in there, see what happens. I'm not changing rings or anything. So I have to figure out where the notches are on the rings. That's where one of them is. Not sure where the bottom one is. Let me say it's over here somewhere. Bottom notch and top notch are lined up. Take and drizzle some oil on here. This is just two stroke oil. Come on, baby. Yeah. That was the hard part. Put four nuts on here. I'll bring you back. So you have the uh, jug bolted down, the head bolted down, the carburetor just pull in there. Oh, I did tighten it down, so uh, I need to torque the head bolts. The manual calls for 17.5 uh, foot-pounds, which is 175 inch-pounds, because I'm going to use my quarter-inch torque wrench, my Harbor Freight, and they recommend torquing it down in three stages. So I'm going to torque it down in stages of 60 inch pounds. I could read this thing. 50. Okay. 
uh, 60 inch prongs, then I'll do 120, then I'll do 175, which is the max. 185 is the max. Uh, nope, 200 is the max. So, let's uh, see where we are. Wood. Wood. Good. Thirteen millimeter. Okay. Now we're going to take her up to one twenty. Lock it, dial it up. I know you can't read the scale. Right there, it's That's 120, so let's take her up to 175. See, I was torquing one of these down a couple of years ago, and uh, one of the bolts broke, which meant it was real torqued on these three, and it had cracked right here. And I was going to do it right about now, when I was doing the last, the last pull on the uh, torque wrench. So I'm nervous right now. I think I'm going to break it. I hope not. Come on, baby. Uh. Uh. <coughs> Shit, you see what I'm saying? Come on, quick mother trucker. <coughs> oh, I'm so close. My, uh, my torque wrench elbow tells me stop. I'll back my pounds down here. I'm going to go down to 160. 165. Oh, 
we might trust that one. <sighs> I'm leaving it. It's 10 pounds under torque. I think if I try and go anymore, I'm either going to just snap a bolt or crack a pad or strip a thread. So, my intuition says stop. Stop. Don't go anymore. Silly, silly man. All right, keep moving. Not fried. There's our hello. Now that pipe looks like it belongs on this bike. All right, well, let's see if this thing will start up or not. I mean, how easy is that? Take an engine apart. Um, all in all, it took me less than an hour to do, to pull the cylinder apart, put it back together. And remember, I do have new rings, new sh gaskets and everything. So, but I want to see if the old stuff works. I 
can't take it for a ride because I don't have any uh, foot pegs on the thing. So we're gonna let it run here for a little while, warm up, see how it does. The amount of smoke coming out of the back is uh, a little more than usual for this vintage. And remember I'm running 32 to 1. My small engine expert tells me I can easily run 40 to 1 with the new synthetic uh, oil mixes they have and not have to worry about it. So I'm probably running a little bit rich on the oil mixture. As used gaskets, just rebolted together. Well, that's way better. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna leave this video where it is. Uh, maybe I'll add the rag. But the problem is, is I need to. I need to open up the clutch cover here, right there, take that cover off of there, because there's a bolt in there that I'm missing on that bike. And I think that's why my uh, Kickstarter isn't kicking right. So, I want to take the bolt that's in here, take it out, find out what the hell it is, and uh, get one for that bike. So, uh, all right, I'll bring you back when it's ready for a ride. But just for the hell of it, what do you say? What do you say? A walk away kick? Ready? Oh. All right, I'll bring you back. I am going to be ending the video here today. Thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate it. I need to take the um, clutch cover off of this bike right here and get into the clutch, make sure it's adjusted, get it into the magneto and the points, clean that all out. And I can't do that with the hook pegs on. So, and I need to start getting that bike ready. Uh, a couple of weeks is the Ripon September Fest. And uh, I want to enter a motorcycle into the Ripon Fest. So, I need to stop playing with this guy and start playing with that guy. So, that's what the next video is going to be about, is taking the good stuff off of this one and putting it on that one back there. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Ring the bell. Subscribe. Please subscribe. It really does help a lot. Have a good day. Bye-bye.